guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, check out the channel. Um, if you guys happen to like this type of content, let me know in the comment section down below. There will also be at the end of the video a playlist where you guys can go and watch more how to live on $1,000 a month tips and tricks and all that other good stuff. So stay tuned till the end. So living on $1,000 a month can be hard, especially if you're trying to furnish your own place or your own room or wherever you may, may live. Um, it's definitely not easy, but there are some tips and tricks that I can tell you guys that have helped me to furnish my place that uh, can definitely help you guys furnish yours as well. Number one is uh, flea markets. If you guys live anywhere near flea markets, uh, definitely check them out because a lot of flea market vendors, they sell furniture, they sell antiques, they sell toys, they sell household, they even sell some food. And with that being said, there's a ton that you can get from flea markets and you can get it for pretty cheap too. Number two is obviously Goodwill. Um, going to Goodwill, you can find things that are super duper cheap. You can get them for a steal. Um, I know the most recent thing that I got from Goodwill was actually that little black uh, stand right there behind me. I only got it for $10, whereas if I were to go out to Walmart and try to buy it, it would be at least 20 At least 20 So check out Goodwill. You can get furniture, clothing, household goods. Um, I even found a dishwasher from Goodwill. I didn't buy it, but I found a dishwasher in Goodwill for like 40 bucks, and you're not going to be able to get a dishwasher anywhere for 40 bucks. <laughs> that is close to as new as what you're gonna get from Goodwill. Number three is yard selling. Never ever doubt a yard selling. Speaking about a dishwasher, I actually got a dishwasher from a yard sale for $30. It works, it's great, it's fantastic. It does not leak, it does not do anything um, that would upset me or the household. It's, it works really well. And with yard sales, you can find, you can find literally anything. Have a really good, really good savings when you go to yard sales trust me it's it's fantastic number four is places like uh big lots or places that are technically like um a clearance store i know there's big lots i know there's like ross i know there's um other places such as those where you can go and uh get stuff for second hand prices but they're brand new um that's also something that you guys can look into while um, shopping around for um, decorations for your places, for your bedrooms, your homes, your apartments, your trailers, wherever you happen to live. What are we on? Number five? Number five. Next, you definitely never want to knock off uh, Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace is one of the places that I go to just look for stuff. I will just window browse on Facebook Marketplace all day long because there is so much stuff on Facebook Marketplace that you can get for really good deals. Um, there's actually some stuff that I've gotten off Facebook Marketplace that I have used to furnish my uh, current apartment with. Number six, are we on number six? Number six, I would definitely suggest Macari. Um, Macari is one of those places, Macari, eBay, Amazon, um, you can get them for cheaper, especially if Amazon is running a sale, you can definitely get it cheaper on Amazon. Um, definitely don't knock off Macari and eBay. Um, you guys can get really good deals on Macari and eBay. Watch out for the shipping though, because sometimes the shipping is a little, a little uh, on there. Last but not least, number what seven? Number seven would be Craigslist. Um, that I am aware of. I know that there are people who get stuff off of Craigslist all the time. You just have to be super careful, just like on Facebook Marketplace, if you happen to meet up with somebody to go and get your item. Um, just be very careful. But Craigslist, you can find a ton of deals on Craigslist, um, same as you can Facebook Marketplace. And with that being said, um, that's all the places that I can think of right off the top of my head as I'm doing this video. Um, to tell you guys where you guys can find goods for your apartment, for your house, for your wherever you are, your bedroom, whatever, um, for a very decent prices because everybody names their own price and more than likely you're going to find somebody who shoots, who just wants to get rid of it. They shoot under asking value, they just want it gone and more than likely there's nothing wrong with it. They just, they don't have the space or they need the money and uh, they just want to get rid of it so uh, make sure that you check out these places that I have suggested 
and see what works best for you guys because obviously Macari may work better for someone than what Facebook Marketplace may work or going to Goodwill may work better than what Craigslist would work for somebody. So it just depends on what's all in your area and uh, where you live and exactly what you're looking for. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys happen to like, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below if this helped you guys out with um, searching for places to go and get furniture or clothes or whatever you need from um, to help furnish your, your, your homes. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!